So this is a tour for Tikal National Park. So this right here is one of the temples. Not sure what the name is, but you touch them, they close. Check it out guys, here you can see two pyramids, there's one right here, and there's the other one over there, and they're covered up, it takes a lot of money, a lot of work to uncover them, and like I was saying on my other videos, uh, see there's trees coming out of them, even if you uncover them, the trees already broke into them, so they're in pieces, so then they have to like rebuild them, so they probably sometimes don't even get them out. I'm thinking this is the temple number one. Temple number one, the as he said. Forty-five meters high, seven hundred after Christ. So this is very iconic. If you guys haven't seen it, this is this has been National Geographic Lonely Planet as a cover photo. I think the best part of this is listening to the animals around here and also like it's a rainforest so there's monkeys and there's all kinds of animals around here and also seeing like pyramids in the distance that's pretty cool with all the fog and stuff this is just a few of them there's more like around us. So listen to the sounds. So the guy is telling us that this is where the Star Wars movies were filmed, like, or the Ewoks and stuff. Let me check this out now. I don't know which one it was, I think the third one, Return of the Jedi, where you have the Ewoks. Right now we're climbing to one of the highest pyramids here. So was the tour worth it? No, because the charge is $25 and then you have to pay the entry fee, which is another $25, which is $50 just to get in here. So it's definitely not worth it. It's better to just come in yourself, pay the $25 to get in and just walk, your, walk around yourself. Uh, really the guy who gave, gave us the tour didn't really explain a lot of things. Yeah, he shows you, he shows you like the plants and everything, but not worth 25 bucks. Making my way back to the entrance. So much easier if you have shoes on. Not like last time when I was like on sandals. That really sucked. It's really nice to come early because there's no one here. So if you like taking pictures, if you like taking pictures, this is the perfect time. So all these ruins and there's no, well there is tourists, but not that many. I'm 
And it's very nice right now because there's no, there's no tourists. Because, first of all, we were here early. We actually got here at 5 in the morning, I think. So, there's no tourists. There's no one. It's just you and the rainforest. A very man-made trail and everything, but still. It's nice, as nice as it's going to get for a while. So I'm gonna show you guys the hostel I'm staying at. It's pretty nice. I got four beds, one bathroom. More rooms. Common area. Bar and restaurant. And it's cool because they have a second bar upstairs. So guys, I'm hanging out here with Vance. And some delicious barbecue. I gotta say, it's pretty good stuff. For being, uh, where we at? For being in Guatemala, it's pretty delicious stuff. But it's like a little Spanish looking place that sells barbecue. It's pretty, it's pretty legit. So right now me and Lance are going to the mainland because in case you guys don't know like I didn't say I didn't mention it before but uh, we're in a, we're on an island that's the island over there that we're on and he's like there's a lake around it <laughs> and yeah the island is called Flores and it's right next to Tikal so that's why it, it's a little touristy over here so me and Lance are just talking about how the contrast between Belize and Guatemala. Here in Guatemala, like you have really nice stuff. I think it's pretty nice. This mall is really nice. But then you're in Belize and it's like expensive and everything's worse. Even the roads are better here. This is the mall we're going to. I think it looks pretty legit. <laughs> 